Developing a digital artifact with the sole purpose of creating a genuine online persona was fun and exciting with my chosen media niche. If you've missed my pitch and beta for my DA, this semester I decided to analyse a media niche I actively participate in, the Ariana Grande fan niche on TikTok. My aims and intentions with my DA were to research and identify the types of Ariana Grande fans or what we commonly name ourselves, tiny elephants or Ariana Eaters. Mind you, Ariana Grande doesn't actually like either of those names. I wanted to identify the personas within the fan niche from my own interest in determining where my persona stood within the niche. During my time developing my DA, creating content in and interacting with other content creators, I was able to find my footing within the niche. I aimed with my content creation to showcase the talent that non-fans dismiss or are unaware of because non-fans always assume Ariana Grande is just a girly girl who sings about problems and seven rings, but of course as a fan I know this is not the case, but as my content creation progressed, the content style also changed. Whilst actively participating in this DA and finding my place, I finally came across the humorous side of my niche. I discovered that I enjoyed creating humorous content related to Ariana Grande as I fit the stereotypical mould of being a young girl who listens to her music. Although this was not how I had originally planned my content creation, this was the direction I was led down whilst finding my place. Watching and analysing my niche, the most noticeable and reoccurring motif was the concept of errors. This is one of my epiphanies that I identified earlier in the semester. Ariana Grande errors are very important to this niche. Although as fans we all love and appreciate the music produced and we connect with each other based on that music, we also separate ourselves into smaller groups within the niche based on the era we joined the fan community or the era we connect most to. You haven't asked me, but I'll tell you anyway. My favourite music era is 100% the Thank You Next era. It was raw, honest and full of emotion and pain, something I instantly connected to back in 2019. But the best Ariana era in terms of promotions, fashion and even the tour that went to match was the Dangerous Woman era of 2016 to late 2017. This era was fun, playful and Miss Grande's transition from Nickelodeon actor to an artist to be cautious of. This era saw the infamous ponytail change, her fashion grew to become more mature and the music theme was not as child friendly as the previous two albums. This era saw immense growth within the fan community and with Ariana Grande herself as this era was also when the Manchester bombing occurred. I decided to research our connection to music and the relationship it has with our emotions. Why is it that these eras are such an important aspect of the fan niche? The connection we have with music and emotions is interesting to me. Studies suggest that music is assigned emotions from the listener because the way the piece of music sounds is what they feel expresses their emotions or what they think emotions sound like. Studies have also suggested that musical characteristics correlate with certain expressed emotions, and the feeling that a piece of music communicates is alluded to as being in the external locus, a part of the brain, on the grounds that the audience members see and portray it as a piece of the actual music. During my research in the connection with music and emotions, that I did some self-reflection about why and how I understood the emotions I felt while listening to Ariana Grande's music. I decided to record my reactions and explanations of the emotions I felt listening to the two different songs, from my favourite musical era. The video on the left is for the song Seven Rings, whilst the video on the right is for the song In My Head. This song is an extremely overlooked song that everyone in my niche feels should have been more popular. Let me tell you, when I sing this song, it is definitely not being sung in my head. These two songs bring up very different emotions. Seven Rings makes me excited to hear it and brings me back to the moment I brought my first car, whilst In My Head makes me self-reflect and anxious and doubtful about the things happening in my life at the time of listening to the song. Many people associate strong memories with musical sounds of work. Scrolling through my TikTok, I always seem to find videos from creators reminiscing about a song or an era we wish we could relive. Having just passed a year since the release of Positions the single, and it's a few days away from the one year anniversary of the Positions album release, all Arianators are reminiscing about how they felt at the time of these releases. I myself was extremely excited and anxious to see what the album Positions would be like, having to follow the massive success and release of Thank You Next, the album. It's fair to say it's the complete opposite of Thank You Next. Positions were soft and full of love and happiness. My autoethnographic approach of participant observation whilst in this DA has helped me critically reflect on the connection connections I have within the niche and has helped me in identifying the types of personas on TikTok. It is very obvious while scrolling through the platform of the types of content creators simply based on their personas and the style of content they produce, something which I hadn't really made much notice of before beginning this DA. Although as I mentioned in my beta, I had not yet received feedback on my content, which now I can say I have, I have also noticed that views increased as I progressed with my DA, which ultimately suggests to me that no feedback was good feedback in this instance to begin with. I just had to be patient and continue working on developing my persona. Overall, I feel like I have learned a lot about developing my persona within the niche on TikTok. If you would like to check out the remainder of my research within this niche, please have a read of the blog post below. Thank you.